Did you know that 1% of earners owns 90% of the wealth in the world? Well, stick around in this video because we're going to look at one of the tools that the wealthy, the 1% use to maintain and grow their wealth. What exactly is a sinking fund? It's a simple financial strategy that the wealthy use to plan for their future expenditures. Instead of being caught off guard with unexpected costs, they set aside money in advance for specific purposes. Think of it as saving for something that you know that you'll need to purchase or spend money on in the future. Like a new car, a new phone, personal health, home maintenance, a holiday, Christmas, and even your very own funeral. It's all planned for ahead of time and you can manage those expenses without a hitch. Now let's talk about the real challenges that we all face when it comes to finances. We've all been there, right? Unexpected expenses popping up out of nowhere then. Bam, there goes your budget. Maybe your car might break down. Maybe you have a vet bill. Maybe your boiler will stop working. Without saving in advance for these types of situations, these types of situations will pop up and throw you off course. They will push you off your financial journey. Your road and your path to your financial freedom, you'll be pushed aside and you've got to claw your way back onto that road to financial freedom. A lot of people do not have the money set aside for these circumstances. And when these circumstances inevitably come about, that leads to debt. You often find yourself going into debt to get out of these circumstances. And that progresses to negative habits and snowballing negative interest on your finances. This is where sinking funds come in. Sinking funds are where you prepare for those expenses that you are going to pay out. The great thing about new banks these days, challenger banks that are challenging the traditional mainstream banks. For example, two off of the top of my head in the UK is Starling Bank and Monzo. They create the opportunity for you to make sinking funds. They have their own name for it. With Starling, it is Starling Spaces. They say that these are spaces for you to put your savings into. With Monzo, these are pots. You're putting your money into pots. This is all an envelope system where you create a separate space for a specific expense that you know you're going to have to pay for in the future. I'll give you some examples of my sinking funds that I use. So I have a sinking fund for education, my vehicle's MOT, my home maintenance, a new car, a new phone, car insurance that I pay for annually, my personal health, even my funeral. One day I will die and I do not want to be a burden on my family and ask them to pay for a funeral. I will have the money for my own funeral ready and waiting in a sinking fund. I have pets and vets. I have holidays, birthdays, Christmases, and the number one, treat yourself. A pot for treating yourself. That money builds up and out of nowhere, we go, okay, I've got some money. Let's go and let's have a tree. Let's just go and do something. Let's go to a restaurant and have fun with it. Free money. And it's a sign for myself to treat myself and have fun with it. There is a slight problem with sinking funds and it's a problem that will last 12 months. With sinking funds at first, let's say Christmas has just happened. You have paid for all the presents and gifts at Christmas. You've had a good celebration and January comes and you are skint. You've got no money left. And you will put off, normally you will put off buying Christmas presents until Christmas next year. But what you'll need to do is put set aside some money in January's pay and every month following for Christmas that is to come. You can copy the same sinking funds that I have created as well. But you will need to start saving. And that's difficult, especially when you've just had a Christmas that we saw was that was so difficult. But you need to remind yourself that when it comes around to next Christmas. Christmas and you've bought all the presents, you've had fun, you've had a great time with your friends and family, that at that point, the January hits, you will not have the January blues. You will have saved up in advance for that Christmas. Life will continue as normal and you will have fun with it. The great thing is with sinking funds, it relieves a lot of financial anxiety on your life. But the first 12 months is the hardest because you are transitioning from a person that does not have sinking funds to a person that does have sinking funds. But after the first 12 months are up, you are fully prepared. You're fully saved up for those future expenses. But it is something that you must do. You must take that action when it comes to sinking funds because it is super beneficial on yourself, your mental health, your anxiety around finances and allows you to live a more comfortable and fulfilling life. If you like this type of content, if you like those hints and tips on how to become financially independent, rich, wealthy, and live a rich and fulfilling life, 
then hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can watch all the future videos on this channel and have a great financial future yourself. If your bank does not offer you an envelope sinking fund system or anything of that type, you need to move banks. You may have loyalty to your bank. I had loyalty to my bank. It was completely irrational because I joined my bank when I was 15. For some reason, I thought that was special that going into my 30s, I'm still with the same bank, but that's completely irrational. I canceled my account and they didn't come begging for me to come back. They didn't go, no, we miss you so much. We want you. They don't care about you. So do not have the same loyalty to your bank. You need to switch your bank to a bank that has sinking funds. These sinking funds are so helpful. The bank itself does not benefit in any way from these. It's a benefit to you, the account holder. You have this extra function of creating these sinking funds and having a better financial future, saving for those future expenses. It's super simple, super easy. It's out of sight, out of mind money that you don't think you have, but it's there ready for those occasions when they happen. So switch out of your current bank account. It's very, very easy. It takes about one week. You just go to your new bank account with, for example, Starling or Monzo. You go to them and say, I want to start a bank account with you. And I want you to go and get my old bank account, transfer all the accounts, all the direct debits, all the payments that are going out, take all of them and put them into my new bank. So you don't actually have to do anything. You just tell the new bank, I need you to start the account and make the switch from my old bank to the new one. And they say, don't worry about this. I'll take care of you. In one week, I'll let you know that it's all done. And in a week, you'll get a message to say it's all been completed for you. That is how easy it is. It's not that complicated and you don't need to worry about all your payments and direct debits. They will all be taken care of for you as well. So switch to a bank with sinking funds, with pots, with spaces and an envelope system. Before I go from this video today, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to get your opinion. Are there any other banks that you think are great that have these sinking funds? Do you have a sinking fund that you pay into that I've not said in this video? Are you thinking of something that I'm not thinking of here? Yeah. So get the comments in the description below. I would love to hear from you. If you like this type of content, I'm sure you're going to want to watch this video. It will help you go from a beginner from zero to a millionaire and watch this video right here. I'm sure you're going to love it.